So the time is 6 p.m. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Southeast Absher Boulevard, US 441, US 301, and US 27 Intersection Safety Improvements Public Hearing. My name is Daniel Simpson, and I'm the project manager with the Florida Department of Transportation. Members of the project team who will be presenting information during the hearing are Dennis Atkins and Amanda Ashby. I will now turn it over to our moderator for the evening. Good evening, everyone. My name is Dennis Atkins, and I will be your moderator for the meeting. Good evening, everyone. This hearing is being conducted in a hybrid format to provide multiple ways for the public to receive information about the project and provide input. This hearing is being conducted in person, virtually through GoToWebinar, and over the phone. If you dialed in today on a telephone line, the PowerPoint presentation is available on the project webpage at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445701-1. For online participants, the GoToWebinar control panel should be visible in the upper right corner of your computer screen. If joining GoToWebinar on your mobile device, simply tap the screen to display the same options. The blue arrow in both images point to where you will find the question box. You can type a comment or question into the question box, then click send to submit your comment or question to staff. The red arrow in both images point to where you can find handouts, documents, and comment forms for this public hearing. Click the handouts icon to see available handouts. Click on the file name to download. If you happen to experience a technical issue during this hearing, please type the issue into the questions box on the control panel on GoToWebinar to report it. You can also send an email to carolyn.fitzwilliam at dot.state.fl.us to report it. Or call 407-637 7461. Staff will do their best to assist you. We encourage your input and feedback about this project. All public comments and questions are part of the public record, and every method for providing public comments and questions carries equal weight. While comments and questions will be accepted at any time, those submitted by August 2nd, 10 days after the public hearing, will become part of the project's public hearing record. All comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the hearing. This public hearing is being recorded. A verbatim transcript will be made of all oral proceedings. A recording of this presentation will be posted on the project's webpage within one week following the hearing. There are multiple ways to submit comments or questions. You can make verbal or spoken comments. If attending in person, please fill out a speaker request card so we will know you wish to speak at the podium during the public comment period. Online participants that requested to speak when registering will be called upon during the public comment period of the public hearing. If you did not request to speak earlier and wish to speak, type your name and I wish to speak in the question pane on the GoToWebinar control panel. When your name is called, you will need to unmute yourself on the GoToWebinar control panel before speaking. Lastly, if attending as a dial-in participant, you can call the project manager at 386-943-5394 to provide verbal comments after the public hearing. For those in attendance at the in-person location, you can complete a printed comment form. If you are participating online, you can submit written comments in the question box on the GoToWebinar control panel. Written comments can also be submitted on the project website at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445701-1. You can also contact the project manager directly by email at daniel.simpson at dot.state.fl.us or by U.S. mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720. This contact information is also available on the public hearing notification that you may have received by mail. The Florida Department of Transportation is required to comply with various non-discrimination laws and regulations, including Title VI of the Civil Rights Act of 1964. 
Public participation is solicited without regard to race, color, national origin, age, sex, religion, disability, or family status. Persons wishing to express their concerns about Title VI may do so by contacting Jennifer Smith, District 5 Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 719 South Woodland Boulevard, Deland, Florida, 32720, by phone at 386-943-5367, or email at jennifer.smith2 at dot.state.fl. Dot US. You may also contact Jacqueline Paramore, State Title VI Coordinator, by mail at 605 Suwannee Street, Mail Station 65, Tallahassee, Florida, 32399-0450, by phone at 850-414-4753, or email at Jacqueline.Paramore at dot.state. Dot fl dot us. This information is shown on a sign at the in-person location, on the project website, and in the hearing notifications. The project is located at the Southeast Abshire Boulevard, or US 441, US 301, US 27, and Southeast Hames Road, or State Road 25, intersection in Marion County. The purpose of this project is to enhance safety and improve traffic operations at the intersection. The project proposes turn lane modifications that restrict some turning movements and traffic signal enhancements, as well as bicycle and pedestrian safety improvements. This intersection project will build upon improvements currently being constructed in the area as part of resurfacing and restriping improvements along Southeast Abshire Boulevard that began in late 2020. Those improvements, shown in orange, end at the Southeast Abshire Boulevard and Southeast Hames Road intersection. In order to improve both pedestrian and motorist safety in the intersection, this project proposes to create left turn lanes in both directions of Southeast Abshire Boulevard, west of Southeast Hames Road. The turn lanes will be separated by a raised concrete median that will restrict left turn movements at the intersection. The free flow right turn lane from southbound Southeast Haines Road to Southeast Abshire Boulevard will be removed. A new right turn lane will be added that will be controlled by the traffic signal. The traffic signals will be reconstructed and upgraded with new signal poles. Other safety improvements include providing buffered bicycle lanes along Southeast Abshire Boulevard, realigning the crosswalks, upgrading intersection lighting, constructing new sidewalk to fill in gaps, and reconstructing curb ramps to comply with current Americans with Disabilities or ADA standards. This public hearing was advertised in the Florida Administrative Register on FDOT's Public Notices website, the Ocala Star banner, and on social media and on the project webpage at cflroads.com forward slash project forward slash 445701-1. In addition, adjacent property owners, interested individuals, elected and appointed officials, and government agencies were also notified about this public hearing. We will now enter the formal public comment period for this project. Anyone desiring to make a verbal statement regarding the project will now have the opportunity to speak. Please note, to ensure all who wish to speak are able to, all comments and questions will be responded to in writing following the public hearing. Remember, if you want to leave a verbal comment or question over the phone, call the FDOT project manager at 386-943-5394 after the meeting. Again, you can provide verbal comments and questions in one of multiple ways. To comment at the in-person location, you can state your comments at the microphone. You will need to submit a speaker request card if you have not already done so. If you are joining us online, use the GoToWebinar control panel. If you did not request to speak when you registered for the hearing, you can request to speak by typing in the question box on the control panel. The last way to comment verbally is to call the project manager at 386-943-5394 after the public hearing during normal business hours.
We will now call upon in-person participants who have requested to speak. Please come to the microphone when your name is called and state your name and address. If you represent an organization, a municipality, or other public body, please provide that information as well. We ask that you limit your comments to three minutes. Please keep in mind that we will be responding to all comments in writing following the meeting. Anybody have any comments? Anything online? I really right. don't have anything online at, at this time. We'll give right. them a few minutes if they want to fill out a speaker card at the venue. Does everybody feel like they received the information that they were looking for this evening? You may also provide written comment if you don't want to speak at the microphone. Again, using the comment forms that you're given this evening or by emailing Daniel, the project manager. All right, Daniel, I will pass it back over to you. All righty. Well, on behalf of the Florida Department of Transportation, I want to thank you for attending this public hearing and providing your input on this project. If you have comments or questions after the hearing, please submit them by August 2nd. Contact information, a recording of this public hearing, project documents, and other exhibits displayed at the public hearing will be posted on the project website at https colon backslash backslash www.cflroads.com project slash four four five seven zero one dash one. Thank you again and have a great evening everyone.